This is our self-serve Honesty Farm stand that we've been using to sell garden produce this last season. Right now it is currently closed, but we wanted to tell you a little bit about it, tell you about how we got it, tell you about how we made it work, and all the little gadgets we put inside of it. If that's interesting to you, stay tuned. Our farm is located alongside of a kind of busy side street, and so we took advantage of it to put this shed out here for self-serve produce sales. We'd offload our excess stuff that we didn't sell at the farmer's market and anything else that we had coming in that we needed to get rid of. Yep, so having this farm stand was really nice because we would go to the farmer's market on Saturday and then the week would roll around and we'd be still accumulating a lot of produce and no way to push it out until we had this. So this was really nice for that. Although with that said, at the time, it is a daily chore that we have to come out and restock probably two times a day most of the time when we really have stuff going in here. But it has been really nice, and we actually acquired this building for free. Someone was getting rid of it, and it did not look like this when we first got it. We ended up putting a couple hundred bucks into it. We redid the roof. We redid one of the walls. We put a linoleum flooring. We put a window in the back. We fixed the door. We did some things. There's a busy road for you. A little <laughs> taste of it. This is what the farm stand looked like originally when we acquired it for free from an online posting. I had been keeping my eye out for a while for a building that could possibly be a farm stand and when I saw the shed I knew it would work. We actually picked up the shed only a couple of miles from our house and used our tractor to lift it into the trailer. We also acquired a bunch of stuff that was inside of the shed when we got it. Fixing it up did take a little bit of time, as things do. The paint was left over from another project, and so were many of the trim pieces and screen door materials. The roofing, one wall, and the window were purchased new. I did try to find a used window, but was not successful. But it has definitely been worth it to do all that work, and this has been really awesome. You see it in the off-season, it's not nearly as beautiful as in the regular season. I like to keep little flowers out here, and then we did make a little drive so that people can drive in, and then turn back onto the road with some signage near the front of the road to kind of tell people, come on in, stop by. So we'll give you a tour of the inside. So these are where we normally have our signs right out in front. You can kind of see the road right there where people can pull on and off. These little signs were really nice because we did rotate different produce that was in there on the one that has the different runners on it. Okay, so for the farm stand, I put this little sign up here kind of make it look a little bit, I don't know, more cutesy. We did paint the building also when we got it. We put trim on it, and then we made this door so it was really user-friendly, little signage to pull, and really easy latch. We always keep it propped open during the summer because water and stuff doesn't really go into this door when we do have a storm. You probably notice these two solar panels up here. One is for a security camera, and the other one is for a solar light so that when people do come and it is dark, there is something to make it light in there. It does kind of attract a few moths, though, so that's just something we have to deal with. And for us, what we did is we just opened this door and have a sign here, have a sign there. We left it open day and night. We didn't close it every day. We could have. We chose not to, and it was okay so far. Speaking about that, we did have good luck with people being honest and not stealing and paying for what they took. However, about 2% of the people, roughly, did steal, and that was frustrating and felt like a violation whenever that happened. So that is one reason that this sort of a system was a little bit frustrating, although I have to think about the fact that they are stealing produce. But, I mean, they're coming to our house, you know, our farm. They're coming here and doing it, so that part was violating, and I didn't like that. But then I have to think about the other, about 98% of people that came and visited our farm stand. They were honest. They took what they paid for. They followed the signage. They did what they were supposed to do, and they kind of restored my faith every time we had someone in here who was dishonest and didn't do the right thing. So with that said, I guess if you want to do something like this, take it with a grain of salt. And I mean, it depends on your area and where you live if you can pull off something like this. And for us, this season, it did work for the most part. So we would open the door and then we had a screen door right here. We have a little latch so we could load this easily and keep everything open. We made these shelves out of pallets and some one by threes. So that was nice. They were pretty recycled. And here's some of our signage. 
that we did put out. Fresh produce with an arrow. We have everything in here right now, so I'm just going to move some of these out of the way so you can check it out in here a little bit. Here are some of our other signs that we could change whenever we had eggplant in the farm stand. We would hang this up, and other times we would pull it off and store it in here, and that was pretty handy just to tell people what was in here before they ended up driving and checking it out. So that was kind of a nice thing. This little sign just went on top of our other fresh produce sign. And then here are some more of our hanging signs. We mentioned earlier, one thing we did put in was a window. This was really nice because we have the breeze coming in on that end of the building and going out this end of the building. We mostly kept this open when the farm stand was open this summer, and that kept things actually pretty cool in here. It easily gets 100 degrees outside where we are. We're in Montana, and just that cross ventilation, that kept things pretty cool in here, cool enough where we could just keep certain vegetables out on the shelf, and it was no big deal. When we did build these shelves, we did build them custom fit to this space and they ended up working out really nicely and we could really put a lot of produce on here and it is a tight space like if you're in here with another person it's tight but one person in here or maybe two people if you're family or something it wasn't a big deal and this has been really nice to keep the weather the wind the rain off of the produce and make this a lot more manageable for us. When it, we did have multiple people pull in at the same time, it would definitely be tight. And we can see this farm stand from our house, so it would kind of be a little bit of a show watching them <laughs> trying to get in and out of here together and kind of taking turns, but it was fine, it worked out. So something else that we did put in here was this cash box, and it was just kind of a simple key, and I did end up keeping a bunch of just papers to do different signage in there and a marker and tape for whenever we did restock the farm stand to be able to label everything and price everything. And this worked out pretty nicely. Of course, it's not a very strong, sturdy box, but I mean, this whole system is an honesty system anyway, so we felt that it didn't matter if we're having a very secure location for the cash or check, and we just made sure to collect this at least once daily to stop temptation, I guess, or to not have it be an issue for us. Another thing that we did do this year is we started a Venmo, and that was handy. A lot of people did use that as well, which was nice to just provide another option for people. We have our main sign that we put in here about how the farm stand functions. Just take what you pay for. Be honest. This is kind of just something we're doing for neighbors, so help us let it continue, that, that type of a thing. And then our solar light it was this one right here and then we have a real link camera over there this could have been put together a lot nicer but it worked for us for this year and yeah those were just some nice handy things we did so when we got this building it had an old chipboard floor and the floor was soaked in different kinds of oil it seemed or just other various things that were kind of dirty and not very attractive looking so we just laid a piece of linoleum over top and it has done a great job it's just laid down there and then we put a better kit guard or threshold I'm not sure what to call that right there and that has helped a little bit too just to you know make sure people aren't tripping and stuff that's kind of it for how we got this farm stand together it was definitely a fun project and we're glad we got it out here to be able to share a little bit of our extra produce and keep a little bit of money rolling in on those times where we weren't at the farmers market and when we couldn't sell our produce our growing season here is so short compared to a lot of areas. So we really have to try to take advantage of pushing that produce out when we have the produce. And it's kind of for me, I don't like wasting anything. And this is just another way to make sure produce gets used and not wasted. It was also kind of cool because it seemed like we got a surprising amount of support from just like local people, neighbors, um, people who live in the area. And they would stop by and be like, oh yeah, I've been there before. That's really great. And just a lot of good things said, so it was kind of a, a good way to branch out, I guess, and help some other people that maybe we would have never met otherwise. So with all that in mind, the reason we made this video is because we are moving. We are not going to be living at this property anymore on this busy street. So that's a benefit for us, not the busy street. But on the downside, the farm stand will not work at our new farm. And that is kind of frustrating because we've spent a lot of effort putting this together but at the same time I'm okay with being done with it and finding a different way to offload that produce and of course we're going to be expanding our gardens because it's an obsession once you start
gardening and growing food. It's a little bit of an obsession and we're going to grow more. So we have to find a different way to get that produce out there and sell it and for others in our local community to enjoy it. So we wanted to make a video before our farm stand is done. We are going to be taking our farm stand with us to our next property. But at the next property, it's not going to be used to offload produce. It's going to be used for just something else, some sort of storage or something. But we'll make sure to still use it and enjoy the hard work we put into this building. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you want to see some of the things coming up, like how we're going to offload some of this produce in the future, what this new farm ends up looking like, all the projects that are over there, because we kind of have our farm set up here in a really nice way and we need to duplicate that now where we're going. But in duplicating that, it's going to be very different and we're just going to have to make modifications and make it work. Anyways, if you want to check that out, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.